Good evening guys and girls and uh, let's see what we've got tonight. Well, what we're going to do, I've got a sore knee, I've tried going to bed, I can't sleep. Uh, my knee is playing me up, don't make no, make no mistakes about that. But what we're going to do, we're going to service the Sony 377 uh, reel to reel tape deck. Now this one does need a service. I was given this by my I was given this one by my friend Tony uh, a couple of years ago, and I went through it then. But it does need a service, so we are going to go through it again. And because it could do with the switches being sprayed, it's all a bit crackly, a bit a bit ropey. So and I didn't do that then. I just lubricated it, got it going. So tonight we're going to do a full. A full cabinet out, uh, take the unit completely out of the cabinet and go over it and see if we can, uh, and it does actually switch off on its own. Every now and again when you switch on it doesn't catch. So we need to look at that, see why it's doing that and sort that out as well. And uh, all being well, we'll end up with a working machine at the end of it. Right, let's go to camera two and bench two and start the process. You can't see much there guys, only the back of the machine because of the camera. <clears throat> mm. I could have had camera four over there but you'll see everything pretty soon. Ooh. Where's my glasses? Where's my damn glasses? I've seen them before. There they are. Go behind the machine. Yeah. So, if I lie this down, well, first of all, move that faster. Don't need any of that. First of all, we'll take the screws out. Don't forget to take the back off either. It should lift straight out, I think. So it should lift straight out the cabinet. So we'll take the screws out the side. Designed to be used either way around. Let's look how long them screws are. There we go. How long them screws are they? How long? But this is a good machine. This is a 377, as I say. I thought it was a 337, it's not, it's a 377. I don't know why, but Sony called it a tape corder instead of a tape recorder. I don't know what that was all about. Still no mind. We used to question them. screws. Now this should lift out <clears throat> because there should be enough clearance for this machine to come out of here. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that we're not Just get this, try and get hook that under there. I don't want to scratch anything. There we are. It just pulls out. Because <coughs> it's designed <coughs> to come out so that you can 
put the machine in the other way and have it vertical. Have it, so you can have it horizontal if you want. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> and that leaves us free to do an unnecessary, unnecessary work on it. Yeah, the motor's all nice and Move the case, put that out of the way. Right. Right, so what we'll do to begin with, we'll lay flat on the bench, and I'm pretty sure we'll lift the head cover off. I haven't got anything to put the screws in, so the knobs and stuff, so we'll drop them all into the head cover. Right. The other thing is, guys, uh, this pause control here. Make sure you screw it off clockwise, it's a reverse thread. Take this off gently. Don't want to lose any of the washers because they're nicely designed. It's actually a free head machine this, um, you can monitor the sound while it's recording and adjust your record levels, obviously. These are, and these are a quality product, not junk. And okay, well, there's a washer on there as well. Give it all a good cleaning. All the switches need doing. And there's a sure don't lose that washer. Right. Undo these down here. When you undo these, these are for the head cover. Make sure you put your pliers on the little nut, on the little nut bit, not on the bit there. There we go. Make sure you do it with the little nut so you don't, you don't damage anything. Right. One more screw, I know there's one more because it's here. Yeah, we've got that as well, put that there. Make sure that we've got good coverage of the camera. It's as good as it's going to get. Can I zoom out a bit? Give you a bit more, give you a see if we can get a bit extra. Oh, plenty. That'll do. Right. Always do that. See that washer then? You never know. Put that out of the way. I'm not sure where the washer's from, everything's got one on. So 
Pues es un zumo, ¿eh? No, no. Right. Now, just what would give me your eyes a white because it's from the end of them. Wipe my glasses. Right, we'll get the cleaning stuff in a minute. First of all, I want to look at why it doesn't latch all the time. That would be helpful. And for that, I need a power cable. That's the Dremel, we don't need that. Need a power cable. I know I've got one somewhere. Used one for powering up a bloody computer the other day. So where did I put that one? I had an IEC cable in there the other day. I used it to power up a bloody computer. That ain't it. Where did I put that? goes into there and we can operate this without a tape on it After now we're gonna have to lift to lift it up. I'm not gonna be able to operate that because I'm all now. The thing is I have to hold the damn thing up. So I wanna see why it plays up a bit. So if I hold that there. First of all, put my knob back on. And I can have a look. That's correct, I should do that. Then when I flip that up, I wonder if it's that, that's just uh, that's in place. I remember I have to cut through that one with a Dremel. Let's check this one here at the bottom. Could even be that. That might not have been in the right way. Let's find out. Give me, oops, give me 
things in the wrong place. Whoops. Oh, I'm pulling the glue and grit. There we go. Just trying to hold it. It's not locking in now. We have to hold it. So I'm wondering. Put a bit of lubricant in there because I don't want to pull all this front off if I don't have to. No, because it all looks all right in there. That seems to be out, seems to have got it. That could do it a bit more. A bit more tension, I suppose, that. But there again, probably not. That's probably right. Right. See the thing is I've got nothing to prop it up with. So let's give this a full I mean it runs dead silent, I mean there's no noise on it and nothing. seems to be right now. Let's fast forward. That needs a that needs a clean. Ooh. Yeah that was a bit shiny that rubber. Doing that again. Wonder if it could be a dodgy. It's not a dodgy micro switch, is it? Could be a bad switch, couldn't it? It could be a bad switch. Doubt it though. Rewind's a bit soft. I think the bell's a bit soft to be honest. Yeah, look at that. Right, so what we'll do now. <coughs> I 
What we'll do now, we'll, we'll actually clean everything when it's back in its case. What we'll do, we'll switch this machine off, unplug the plug for safety. Make sure the capacitor's not getting warm. But it's stone cold that. Go up. Let's clean that. Clean that. Clean that. That's our level import. Clean that. Lay it down flat. Bloody straw. Fuck's that gone? There it is. Probably I can't get down there, get the down thing. To my knee. Oh shit man. I'm gonna have to go on. Take the chance. Oh. Let's move down these switches here. Now what causing the problem as well? Because when you flick them, they're not going into where they should be all the time. That's it. That's the switch is done. Just this one here. That's it. Right, what we can do now guys, we can put it back in the case so that we can run it up and clean everything so the motor can be on. Right, let's get the, let's get the case. in position and just 
lift it back in. into the top there push into there that's it let's turn all these knobs I'll let him out in a minute clean that off there let shut off the meter turn on the knobs That's your speed. I sprayed that but didn't clean it. Didn't move it, there we go. I sprayed the one at the side. Done that, done that one. Leave all them in that position. They've all been cleaned, it should be right now then. Right, let's plug the lead back in for the power. Oops. Don't know if you can see that there. Oh, the fucking camera stopped. Don't know when that fucking happened. Fuck's sake. That's the problem with not having, there we go. Right, let's get me, me cleaning stuff. Sorry about that folks. So some of that we didn't see. Uh, where's my cotton buds? So we've got this bloody radiogram on the bench here now and it's in the way. There's the oil, don't need that. Don't need greases. Got oh, new cotton buds up here, I can use those. Got a new pack of oil. I'll use them. I'll just open a new pack. Move. Uh. Well, I got stuck in between my toes. Something stuck there. Camera gone. I thought I've lost the camera, just no, I haven't. Right, right. Right, so let's get this clean. What we'll do? We'll start the mechanism. Yeah, let's 
gone in perfectly there that time. Yeah, look at that crap. I like the rubbish coming off there. I mean, it doesn't need oil in this, you can see oil in it. It was only done a few months, about a year ago. You can see oil in it, so. Clean that. Clean the pinch roller. Shouldn't get dirty, this it hasn't. And enough use. That's not that like use to get, to get absolutely filthy. I'll tell you what folks, that feels better, well better, Oops. Oops. yeah it's got all the green brown off it, doesn't slip now either, that was a bit slippy before, <sighs> clean the heads, the heads on this are tricky to get to because they've got covers like on them. Play record head or record head. The heads are not even dirty. I don't need it running while I'm cleaning them. But, uh, <laughs> nothing on them at all. Now let's see how the rewind is. Well, lock in on rewind. Why won't it lock in on rewind? Try that. That's it. Yeah, that's good. That now. Let's put all the loads of torque on that. Just give the belt a quick clean. Got a bit left on that one. The motor belt are clean. That's good. Clean. That roll, that idler there, that's sort of speed. That's 
that and you can't adjust that when it's running fast forward we can use the end of that Right, let's put a tape on it. I'm not going to listen to anything, so we'll just put it to any tape or do, just to check it really. all the modes nice and easily there yeah, Steve's girlfriend coming this week I'm looking forward to meeting her if he brings her that is, I don't see why not. Yeah, we finally I finally get to meet the Katie hopefully. Looking forward to that and the pull that all over that. Doesn't matter. Right, so that's nice and quiet. Plenty of talk on there for the take up. Don't know what's on this tape. Nothing probably. But, uh, Which you do. <laughs> it's been a while since I used the machine. Oh, monitor left and right source. Look there. Take out of works. Suppose work. Yeah. Yeah. It does. So 
See what I can do while it's doing that. I can I'll be putting the screws back in the side. The big four long screws. Because they belong in there. We should be pretty much level and straight. Yay! Didn't take much service in this guys because it was already working. And I already knew that. I've got another one of these to do. And that works as well. It just needs a quick service, the other one. Because it was my regular one until I got this. You don't need to tighten these screws too much. Just nip them up, don't know if it's really wrench on them. That just does it. Hey. Turn this round. Yeah, believe it or not, this has been thrown away. And he went back outside me, my, my friend, and luckily it was still there. So he brought it in and chucked it in his airing cupboard. I think this is one of them talking tapes with languages on it. I'll let you out in a minute, son. But yeah, you can put these in the case. So they're either vertical or horizontal. I have I I have it fucking I have it vertical. Right, let's lay it down. You can all see it now guys. <coughs> so I've cleaned I've cleaned the pinch roller which is here, the capstan, head saws have all been done. All these rollers here have been done, these idlers have all been done, and that's all you need. The belts have been cleaned and all the switches have been sprayed. That's all you need. Yeah, and I'm just hoping that them switches are going to be okay. I think they will be. This has not been messed with, so I'm not messing with it. The heads are lined up lovely and everything. Can you hear someone clicking? Hmm, there's someone clicking down there. Yeah. don't think it's anything serious it's working anyway it's doing the job
Yeah, but that was just, hopefully. Yeah, that was just, what do you call it, that? Uh, just gunge. But I didn't really want to take this all this top plate off. Because it's a pain in the ass. I mean, you don't want to start taking stuff like that off unless you're going to do a repair. Yeah, but it's a good machine, this guy's. I mean, there's an adjustment there, I don't know what that's for. I'm not going to adjust them because there's no need. You don't make any adjustments unless the manual tells you to. There's them long screws, there's one of them there. Well, that's why they're so thick, because so long because they go through here and just stop there. That's why they're so bloody long. Because they have to go through these blocks of wood here, right into the unit. It's running really well guys. I'm not gonna let it get right to the end because I wanna rewind the tape back onto that spool. Well, let's rewind that back. I mean, that's another thing about the Japanese machines. They were so goddamn simple. that this belongs in somewhere. I'll put it there for a minute. Take that off. Turn it off. Probably lost the camera. No we haven't. Only seems that I want to use the on-off switch. Strange. There we go. Mm. 
Pretty sure we've got enough on the last to come off. The big control. Undo them screws. Ah, oh, yeah, bugger. Go and do them screws. Slacken them off a little bit. Because the case is a bit warped. Because it would be an outside. Actually, felt that side move then. But what we'll do is just do that. There you go. So we can put the screws in. <coughs> Top one. Yeah, because my own my own one, my other one, has got a piece of trim missing off the side there, which would be nice to find well I'll just won't take the screws all the way in for the point for the minute we'll get everything located so I mean shouldn't have a problem, it should go straight in, the hole's dead level. Come on. That's it. It was dead level, it just didn't want to go in. I mean that one's dead level, you can see it. Machines, I love them. Put this one in here. That's that's usually the hardest one. too much basically just there you are 
The only thing I do like to do, I like to get the knobs absolutely perfect in, perfect in position. I mean I don't suffer from OCD but when it comes to that I do. I like my knobs exactly right. Remember to tighten these up, get the pliers and you want to get on the nut bit. Just slide it onto the nut bit. That's all you need. All you need. That'll do. That way, don't snap that. Because if you snap that, you won't get your head cover back on. Make sure that one, because I don't want them working themselves loose. The paws, paws button, the paws screw goes on. Remember, it's reverse thread. And that way, but now it will try to get it off. Then our main knob, our main control switch. Minimum they are. These knobs even feel good. Get more as about right yeah yeah they're perfect they're good enough now do the two mic level ones to be. Let's plug this back in and thread the tape back on it and just double check everything. Mm. On. Think. Yep. Let's just get the camera back. back on That's it. <coughs> put my glasses on so I can thread it properly easier
did quiet this machine as well. It's a silent, it's as silent as an angel's fart. Now I was to turn that there, there we go, yeah, and that should work every time. Yep, shouldn't have to be any jiggling it and pokering about. Pause. Yep. And that's your pause, that's your tape, that's your source. And your tape. Uh, monitor. Tape select normal, special. Microphone attenuator on or off. So in theory on this machine, you can actually use the microphone input as a line input by attenuating it. It will work as a line input by, by using the attenuator. So you can actually use this. Uh, you can you can nearly you can use this nearly as a four track unit. With a four track mixer just on its bloody own. But they're good machines. Good machines, I love them. I think they're brilliant machines. All the speed works. Let's drop it down to the low speed. One. Then the top one. There we go. I always have it on seven and a half. Uh, is it seven and a half? Yeah. Set so, so, seven and a half. I have it on because uh, that's the best quality Yeah, VU meters are working. Yeah. Made in Japan. But the main dock, all the best stuff's made in Japan. Tighten them screws up before I forget. As I say, I've got two of these decks, but I'm going to keep them because I think they're brilliant. We'll put an amplifier in that on that tomorrow, and I'll put a tape with some music on, see how it sounds.
Stop. Stop. Pass forward. Play. Play. Yeah. Rewind. Play. Why do I feel on the top here for heat? Especially around here, and if it does, it gets hot on the top here. It means the capacitor's getting hot. Let that run for a bit, let it work its way in. Right, let's go back to camera two. One even. So that's that guys, I've got another one of those to do. Uh, the other one, the other one's not as nice, that's a nicer out of the two of them. Uh, that's the Sony 377. Uh, reel to reel tape recorder from the 1970s. Lovely old machine. Anyway, guys, I thought he was no live today, but my knee really is playing me up. That's why I'm up now because I can't sleep. Uh, listen, you all take it easy and uh, be careful and be safe and all that lot. And I'll catch you in the next one. I just thought I'd put a little something up for you. Bye for now, folks.